Hello guys and welcome back to Eco Server Play. Since last episode I have done a lot of things and it doesn't look like much has changed and I said I was going to try to build a more proper base but I haven't. I have spent more time on uh, evolving my world and myself and uh, learning new stuff and learning new stuff, I mean, not only in the game, but also outside the game. About the game. <laughs> and so in here it's just a bit bigger, I placed more machines. We have a fishery. And I have placed a few fishing, catching things out in the, uh, on the seaside, over here. Oh, not over there. Over... Here. Yeah, you can see the tiny icon here. So I'm getting better food and now I am more well balanced. The, the more balanced you are, the more skill points you get. So now I get lots of skill points every day. This is quite boosted for, for this server. So we are, so we can show as much as possible. But normal settings is, then you need, really need to work together to, to learn everything. Uh, so someone focuses on on something and then you share the books like, like this one I'm doing right now. I can go over to the other people on the server and just give, it, give a scroll to them. So they want to, don't need to spend time doing that. Also, you would save a lot of time doing... What, what should I say? co-op base building. This is a game that really shines from playing co-op because I'm doing the exact same thing that that Max is doing over there. Well, perhaps your name isn't Max, but, but I call you Max. And and then, so right here I'm, I'm building bricks in my kiln and this is powered with charcoal not charcoal sh normal coal you can see i have 20000 joules of fuel of energy in one coal compared to one log that has 4000 joules of energy so it's a better food uh, uh, fuel source and i actually have a vein not very far from my base it's just around the corner here, where I also picked some ores. So, and that's the first thing I want to show in, in more detail. When you harvest ores, or mine ores, they look something like this. Iron ores, I only have one, I don't know why I have one. Because I always get them in four, so I must have dropped three of them somehow. Perhaps they fell down in the water and now they are lost forever. And then I woke up to my bloomery that I crafted. I think I crafted it in the kiln, right? I think so. Yeah. Bloomery. Here it is. It wasn't too hard to make. And with that I can start to smelt ores into, into metal. Of course, after I've learned it you know, research, learning, smelting, and then advanced smelting is not researched yet. I don't know if it's down on the server yet, but... So now we can smelt our ores into bars. But we also get one, one additional thing. Well, you also get need to fuel it. So if I do like this and place some coal in here, then I will be more efficient, I guess. But you will get one thing called tailings. So let me read. Waste product from smelting. When left on soil, the runoff will create pollution, killing nearby plants and seeping into water supply. Contain in buildings or bury in rock to neutralize. And it looks something like this. These piles of tailings. And you can actually see that already now. Uh, let me go and dump this off. Yeah, here we have dead grass 
and it's a byproduct from my pollution. And I have a huge stockpile here <laughs> of all my tailings. Uh, I prepared more, I probably have one here as well, and we have some more space because I don't have anything that grows exactly here. But at some point I'll probably dig deep down and have a stockpile far, far under. So with that we're getting ores and with ores we get metal and then we can repair my iron pickaxe, iron shovel and, and so on. Plus that we need it for new recipes, but that's of course you... <laughs> I, I think you knew that already. So, so that's interesting, that's fun, I don't know how serious this is. You can also see it on the map if we check air pollution. But anyway, we are we're digging, we're coming closer to what the game is really about, the ecosystem. So that would be interesting. So the next thing we can demonstrate is the uh, are these water wheels. Now the power system is quite simple so far. I have a machine here. It's called the mill, and we use it to uh, to mill our wheat and corn into flour, and uh, you know, lo lots of stuff here. Acorn powder. I don't know what it's used for. Is it only to eat? I guess. All right. Sugar. Lots of stuff, and probably a lot more to learn. And and this one, I uh, forgot. Power. Power grid mechanical supply 400 watts right now it's not running but if we for example do one flower we are using up 75 watts of power and i built myself two water wheels was it here no was it here Here, water wheel. So this one will generate, I, I guess it's 200 watts each, as we had 400. Very cheap to make, and from what I understand, you only need to place it to some next to a block and have running water next to it. I, I, I think. It at least it seems to be running. Supply, yeah, power generator max output 200 watts. So I guess you can see here if it's working well or not. So I can have one here and I can perhaps fit one more here or two. Or I go down here and place some more. I haven't, oops, I haven't really explored that. So, uh, but it, it works and, oh, can I get up? It works right now anyway. And while I'm here, let's get some more ores gather 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 this is uh, like with stone or or uh, other things that you or charcoal no coal whatever and so far i put everything in here i just go here and i order my five copper ingots one for each block and then we'll get some more tailings to take care of. Okay, all well and good. I also created these ramps. Um, do I have a cart? Oh, and also this cave. It's very small and it's not using anything right now. I think I will have some storage here. And uh, it seems to be working better with storage on top because from from down here, let's see, I can reach. A small wood cart, right? I think I have one up on the top. Well, at least this one is just just above here. But yeah, let's go up to the top and see how it looks. 
after that I'll just do some more research and uh, harvesting and minor steps. But here we can pull the cart all the way up and down if you want to. And here I planted. The thing I planted uh, last episode, they are now growing and I don't know if they get bigger than this. We can have lots of wheat because the wheat seems to like it up here. All the other plants are, uh, well, they just die. <laughs> But wheat is one. It's fine. These two seem to have overgrown, but it's totally fine. So we've got 12 seeds, and let's place them back. Like that. And the, here we can chop some wood and then take the cart all the way down. This one. I have some wood in it, and we can pull it down. So. But I won't show that. <laughs> so things are moving along quite nicely and I think we are we, we get better better understanding of the game and how it works for 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 every day I think. And uh, for next episode I have built a lot of bricks. But I know that Max you know Max Tuming Gaming has created a lot of bricks as well and they actually built a factory so uh, I think I'll show it to you next episode because we're quite far off perhaps a sneak peek I don't know we'll see but anyway that's it for this episode good progress lots of new stuff and uh, yeah pollution we're getting there and then the meteorite the meteor is not on the sky right now Oh well, I guess that's it, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.